Hi guys, it's Shake and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so I finally have gone through a couple of mental breakdowns, like a good 30. Um, and I'm here. So for today's video, I wanted to kind of play on the little trend that is going around of trying out the like lowest and highest rated thing, like um, going to the lowest rated makeup artist, but I didn't want to do that because I don't want to just fucking do what everybody else is doing. So in today's video, I thought I'd put a little bit of a twist on it and follow the most reviewed makeup tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> So I'm just gonna grab my MacBook right here and we're just gonna do a little bit of searching for the Yes, I was watching Tana Mojo and Jake Paul. Mind your business. The first one I'm seeing is by Dope2111 and it is this inside out makeup tutorial and yes I've already watched this because yes I've already done my research on this. Um, so I know I've been, I was gonna see this. Um, I've already done my research and I don't really want to do this, I don't really want to follow this. I want to follow something that's like a real classic makeup tutorial, you know, like I, just, I want to do something that's like regular glam, not like something that's special effects -y, creative -y like this. So we're gonna skip out on this. And then the second one I'm seeing is this DIY life hacks and we're just not gonna be doing that. Easy eyes and face makeup tutorial featuring Vanity Planet makeup brushes. 59 million views two years ago. How the hell did she pull that off? Damn, these girls are getting views, huh? Okay, so the video that I finally have decided on that isn't a creative makeup tutorial is this Easy Eyes and Face Makeup Tutorial by Sarah K. Um, I've actually never even heard of her and this has, like, that's no shade at all. I've never heard of this girl and that's no shade, it's just my honest truth. Um, this has 59,655,066 views. It has 567,000 likes, 51,000 dislikes, and she has 1.1 million subscribers. Okay, so now that we have officially found the video we're going to be following, this is the most viewed makeup tutorial on YouTube. We are going to follow it. Oh, this sounds off. Okay, so she's not even talking. Oh my god. Okay, so she's just priming her lids. She's opening a case, which I'm guessing is the sponsored part of the show. She must have made some coin off of this video. Okay, so I don't think she talks in literally any part of this video, and it has literally 59 million views, and it's not even like her explaining anything, so... Pray for me. Okay, so she's starting off priming her lids with a little foundation, it looks like. I think it's a Smashbox. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna prime my eyes with a little bit of foundation like she did. Okay, so it looks like she's taking a brush similar to the Sigma E38 brush, and she's just running this, like, basic transition shade through her crease, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I have the Morphe James Charles palette, and I'm going to go... Kanye, what's the best part about being a dad? The kids. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, into this shade right here. It just looks like she's running it right through. She's not really focused on blending. It doesn't look like... It looks like she's just popping it right up in there. Okay. She is a lot paler than me. Okay, then it looks like she's taking a thin, a little pencil brush, and she's just running a darker brown through the crease. Looks like she already did it on the other side. I'm thinking I should take this guy right here because hers looks a little bit warm, but also this one might work, so I'm not sure. This one's a little red. 
and I'm just gonna run that for the crease, I guess. A little bit lower, it looks like, yeah. It doesn't look like she's taking hers that high. Well, I have hooded eyes, so I need to take mine a little higher. Oh, she's just going in. So it looks like she's just taking some shimmer shade of some sort. See, this bitch doesn't have hooded eyes like I do, and doesn't have to cut her face or anything. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> um, so she put a, looks like a very chunky gold shimmer on the inner and outer corner, and then in the center put a lighter shimmer glimmer. So I'm going to do that. I really hope she does lashes. She does not. She didn't even cut the crease, so she doesn't really seem like a lashes type of girl, and I really hope she has lashes. Oh, okay. So it looks like she just did a basic winged liner, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so after a winged liner, she's moving on to face. So I'm gonna pop on this winged liner off camera just so I can focus and concentrate, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like that is all she's doing for eyes right now is just the eyeshadow and the liner. This eye isn't going too, too bad. For my hooded eyes, I do have very hooded eyes, so I have to bring my liner pretty lower down so I can get it away from that hood. But this is what we are working with so far. Not too terrible. So to start off for skin, it looks like she's taking a little bit of a witch hazel to just hydrate this skin or go over her acne. I don't really know. Um, but I'm going to do that because I do have witch hazel. <laughs> and then she is taking a little bit of lip balm, it looks like. And then some sort of cream that was just in a little sample size that she's just putting... Oh. Oh, she's just putting stuff on her face. Girl, I'm still working on the toner. I don't really know what she's putting on her face right now, but it looks glowy. So, I don't really know what she's putting on her face, but it looks just like, what is that? Why was that one darker? Okay, so next it is look like, okay, so next she is going in finally with foundation, and she took the L'Oreal True Match foundation. She's dotting it all over her face. She's taking a Real Technique sponge and is just blending it in. Okay, so I don't really know what kind of finish her foundation has, but I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in shade 150. Okay, so now that my foundation... Okay, so now that my foundation is all on, I'm just going to see what she's doing. And then she went in with the MAC Pro Longwear... Okay, so now she's going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and it looks like she took it on her beauty blender and then blended it into her under eye. I'm going to take some of the LA Girl Pro Concealer and put it on the back of my hand. And just like she did, I'm going to blend it in, picking it up with my beauty sponge. So next, it looks like she is powdering her face, and she's just using a big fluffy brush and a pretty sure loose powder to just set the face. So I'm just going to take some of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder on a big fluffy brush like our girl, and just dip in and set. All over my black shirt. Love that. Okay, now that my face is all set, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so next, it looks like she is contouring? Bronzing? I don't know what exactly she's doing. Let me check her products, because maybe she listed it. 
So I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D shade and light contour kit. It looks like she's going into like a, like, I'm, I don't know. I'm just gonna, don't wanna, I'm gonna mix some shit up on a really big brush. It looks like she's taking. Did she do her jaw? Tell me she did her jaw. Baby, tell me you did your jaw. <laughs> See, girl, I know you have a little ass petite face, but I have a big horse face and I need to get rid of my chin. Let's just move on before I kill somebody. <laughs> so now she's pointing at, oh. Shit. <laughs> okay, so I am back. My brows are done. I tried to do the most darkest um, concealed brows that I could possibly do, but I don't know. They just kind of came out a little wonky, to say the least. Um, anyway, I'm just going to move on. She put something under the eyes, but it doesn't even look like she put anything there, so... But it didn't really look like anything, so... That was karma for just driving past the homeless person I saw today that looked like they were dying. Okay, I kind of fixed my boo-boo. Still kind of looks like I have a black eye, but I don't care. <laughs> so next she is doing highlighter, finally. And she is just taking a regular highlighting brush. It actually looks like the one that I use. I use a Morphe M505. And looks like she's just taking a goldish highlighter. So again, I'm dipping into the James Charles palette and I'm taking this one up here as a highlighter. Again, no nose contour. Also, I just noticed no nose contour. No chin, no nose. She don't give a fuck about my features. Or lack thereof. On the nose, she just went like this. She took the whole brush, she said. Oh, and she did the chin. She didn't, she didn't allow me to contour my chin, but she wants me to highlight my big ass chin. She wants, she wants my shit to be seen. So it doesn't look like she lined. It doesn't look like she glossed. It doesn't look like she did anything to prep her lips. So I'm just going to take Max blankety lipstick and put it on just like she did. Usually I would overline and do a bunch of good stuff to my lips to make them look bigger, but again, she just don't care about me. Oh, this is actually a pretty color. I think she's done. Ah! Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let me do this little this shit she does. Ready? Okay, you know what? It's not that bad. Like, if I had, like, taken my shadow up a little higher, cut the crease, it would have actually not have been that bad. I definitely could use some jaw contour, some nose contour, but you know what? That it still was 2016. It was a different time. I mean, look at the eyebrows. So yeah, that was me following the most reviewed makeup tutorial on YouTube. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit the bell button for notifications. 
as well as giving this video a big thumbs up and comment below if I did a good job, if I snapped or not. Um, or if you want to roast me, feel free. And yeah, that's all I have for today. I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm fucking cute. I'm so cute. Like, I am the cutest person alive. I've just decided.